My name is Susan McDonald, and I teach online monologue study for ATC Studios. Today, I'm joined by Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Susan. <laughs> and in, in just a bit, I'm going to guide Marianne through an exercise we use in monologue class. Every actor needs a few solid monologues at the ready. And our goal in monologue class is to not only help you choose the right one, but through a series of exercises, bring those monologues to beautiful, truthful life. We want you to feel confident about your work, that you can go into an audition and know you're going to impress them. That being said, I'm gonna guide Marianne through this exercise. We call this our happy moment exercise. So Marianne, I just want you to tell me about a real happy moment from your life. Um, okay. Actually, I was just remembering this story um, a few days ago. I was remembering when I was eight years old and I became an American citizen. I was raised by British parents in London. And when I was eight, we found out we were moving to New York because of my father's job. So uh, I was so excited and I wanted to practice an American accent so that I would fit in when I arrived. And I had a best friend in my neighborhood in London who was from America. She was actually from Alabama. Her name was <laughs> Linda Foster <laughs> from Alabama. <laughs> um, and so my, I like I basically tried to copy her accent. And we took a ship when we moved. Instead of taking a flight, we, we went on a, it's like a big cruise ship, but you're just at sea the whole time crossing the Atlantic. Uh, and I would, for five days, and I would just lock myself in the bathroom and in front of the bathroom mirror and practice, my name is Mary Ann. I'm moving to America over and over and over. So finally, we arrive. We go and move to um, a town just outside of New York City. And I show up for my first day of third grade, so excited to try my, my new American accent and walk up to a little girl who looks friendly, put out my hand and say, hello, I'm Marianne. Uh, so, uh, ooh, humiliation <laughs> immediately. Um, and, but anyway, uh, I did eventually become an American, naturalized American citizen. And we went down to the immigration offices by the peers in New York City. And I was officially, you know, sworn in. And uh, that night, my mom made hamburgers with little American flags in them. Aww. And then the next day, I went to school with cupcakes and with little American flags. And finally, I was, you know, accepted into the crew because I brought cupcakes. And they all were like, wow, what's, you know, that's exciting. And then obviously, eventually, I perfected my American accent. So... Um, yeah, it was just a very happy, happy day. That's, that's a great story. That's wonderful. <laughs> and, and, you know, in that story, Marianne, there are actually mm -hmm. several happy moments. Um, is the happy moment uh, when you're on the ship and practicing your accent? Is it when you get here to New York and walk into the classroom for the first time? Or is it the day you bring in the cupcakes and you feel accepted? And what I would like you to do is pick one of those happy moments and you're going to create a monologue around that. We call this our happy moment monologue. And it may not actually be a happy monologue. You may be using this happy moment to achieve an objective. Objectives are something we talk a lot about in acting. And so maybe you're trying to inspire someone else who's trying to become an American citizen. I'm gonna send you home with a worksheet and it will take you through the whole thing and you'll come back with your monologue. I don't want you to worry, you don't have to memorize it. Um, and if you all out there wanna learn more, please click online monologue study and we hope you'll join us. Thank you for tuning in today to get a little idea of what we do in monologue study. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Susan.